So every now and then I like to um, just do a really big batch of uh, monoprints on tissue paper, um, quite large pieces, and I just get really free with my mark making. Um, and they are brilliant for working into um, prints and other pieces of work and using as collage. So I'll just show you how I do that. If you'd like to follow what I do uh, and see what I make, you can do on Instagram. I'm at Ruth and Prince and the same on Facebook and on Pinterest, in fact. Um, check out my website. That's ruthander.co.uk. That's where you'll find um, the latest dates for online workshops and face-to-face -face workshops as well. Um, and also any videos that I make or e-courses. So what I'm using here is um, just plain oil paint. I don't mix it with anything. Um, this was a whole load of a kind of sludgy colour that I... Um, managed to make kind of by mistake and I had loads of it left over so I often use leftover paint for this um, and nice dark colours often um, worth it as well um, and then I've got tissue paper here now this is archival tissue paper that I buy from a museum's preservation um, online shop um, and it's pH neutral um, it's not coated with anything um, and so you can um, it, it has a nice soft texture on both sides of it uh, but it's really strong as well it also means that when you're printing, you don't have to press too hard. It will just take the ink up. And I often do dark colours. They come out really nicely. I'm just spreading a whole load of the ink. And I just use oil paint here. I don't use anything, any printmaking inks, because I'm just using thin paper. I don't need um, really thick, gloopy printmaking inks. And I'm just making sure my roller is... Pretty oil free and clean as well. Oh, there's a mark on there. What have I got on there? I don't want that. Okay. I'm just going to roll this out and I'm fairly haphazardly because this doesn't have to be perfect. This is a mark making exercise, really. And sometimes just the way you roll out can make really nice areas. So this area here is quite nice. I might, mm, might leave that. Uh, you want to make really nice edges. And it doesn't have to be even, particularly in fact the unevenness can be a really nice aspect to some of these sheets of monoprint. So I'm now going to um, just put, make a few marks in here really. So I've got a piece of card, mark card that I use as a spatula. And I'm just, just going to make marks. I'm going to take some of the ink off. Sometimes I use thin, thin marks, sometimes thicker. Um, that's going to splodge quite a lot, but that could be quite nice. And the other thing that you can do, of course, is um, I've got some kitchen towel here, but you could use rags or something like that. And you can be a bit more gentle about what you take off here. So actually, that's quite nice and smudgy. I think I'll probably leave that. That might print nicely. Um, and then you could make a little, a little point or something a bit more substantial to take a bit more ink off which will when you print will show white remember so I'm not too precious about these it's really just mark making um, and often the edges will print much nicer than you think so that's often something that you can just leave so I think I'm going to print that as it is I've got a really nice big piece of tissue paper here. This is archival tissue that I buy from a museum's um, online shop for, for preserving objects in museums. But it's great because it comes in really big pieces and you can get it in a roll as well. And I'm just going to press down with my hands first. And then I'm going to use my baron. I've got quite a hardy baron there. Be 
could just do this with your hands if you didn't have anything. I'm just making sure that each area has been, of the paper has been pressed down with the ink so you don't miss anything. And then you peel off. And there we've got, now I think I can show this to you. We've got some really nice marks here that have come out. Um, so that will be brilliant for collage, for working into um, existing prints and existing pieces of work. I'm just going to put that in here. And here we are at the end of the session. Uh, I carried on and I did lots more large pieces, um, just like the one I showed you. Um, so I've got loads of different gestures and marks um, ready for collage and um, working into other pieces of work.